Sure is a nice day. Mm, if you say so. Peaceful, too. Or rain. Peace and sunshine. We ought to enjoy them while we can. So what else is new? Storm brewing up over the hexagon. Hmm, maybe Stampede's got a headache or something. I hope. Stupid, that's what you are. Bumbling a goof up. Didn't I order you to get those miners and merchants off my planet? Yes, you did, Stampede, but, uh, sir, but, 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 but... Don't butt me, you failed. I want those goody good settlers out. New Texas is mine. It must become a planet of evil. I know, but it ain't so easy. And Brave Star's always... Brave Star, Brave Star, that's all I ever hear. I want results. <laughs> Not excuses. Okay, boss, okay, okay. This time I'll try. No, you had your chance. I want you to leave the hexagon. Leave? That's what I said. I've called in somebody else. Brought in an outsider to do my job? Huh? He can't be so tough. Whoever he is, I can take care of him. You think you can? Wanna try? Meet my new partner. He'll get those miners and settlers out once and for all. So, you think you can take me? <laughs> Anytime you're ready, start taking. Well, that, that is a... Uh, uh, forget it, friend. I am moribund. I am not your friend. I made a little mistake. Come on, boy. Well... No, not well. His name is Grox. Uh, hello, Grox. <laughs> Look, Moribond, I, I don't want any trouble. We're all on the same side. You're on nobody's side. You're out. Hey, now, what did you, wait, wait a minute. I said you've had it. All right, Moribund, go to work. Make it so rough on those settlers. They'll be begging to leave. <laughs> leave it to me. Howdy, Molly. How you doing? Hey, Marshal. Just great. Making good time. I'll ride into Fort Carrion with you. See you on the other side of the bridge, Molly. All right, Grox, this will do fine. <laughs> well, well. Look who's there, Grox. Brave Star himself. Let's see how far he can get without a bridge. Let's go, Grox. We've got some more frightening to do. We've got ourselves trouble, big partner. Time for a power jump. Can't make it. First, we get rid of this mechanical snake. Got 
to save the stage. Steady now. Are you all right? Yeah, thanks to you. That was a close one. What's going on? Seems there's a snake in the grass somewhere that doesn't like us. Uh, it is not so easy as I thought. I put a scare into them. Well? We must do something really nasty. Show them we mean business. Like what? what? I'm thinking. I have it. The sons steal them, hide them away until the settlers leave. Settlers can't live in darkness. Steal the sun. You think big. I like that. Maybe just two suns. Leave one for now as a warning. <laughs> that ought to clear off the planet. Just one thing. Those suns are way out there. Even my great powers may not reach that far. <laughs> my rocket arrow can take care of that. Good. Very good. <laughs> Steal the sun. <laughs> I like that. Golly! Who's that? I, I don't like this. Find out what he wants. I'm the marshal. You got business in town? I do. Call your people together. You got something to say? Say it to me. All right. There is a freighter leaving at noon tomorrow. Everybody in these parts is to be on it. Don't count on it. Don't say I didn't warn you. If you're smart, you'll get out, all of you. Remember, tomorrow by noon. It's noon and nothing's happened. Yes, well, that, that stranger was bluffing. Nothing's happened. No! Darkness and well, it's getting cold. I better report to the council. Marshal, that stranger's behind this. Arrest him. That won't get your sons back. He's just a hired hand. Only one person has this kind of evil power. Stampede. Then we're doomed. Nobody can help. Not so. Somebody can. Shaman? Yes, Brave Star. I was expecting you. I need your help. I have to get the sons back, if they're still around. They are still here. Even Stampede cannot destroy the sons. He has them hidden. Once they're released, they will return to their natural places in the sky. Good, but... One way or another, the sons can be found, Brave Star. Problem is, where to start looking? I haven't a clue. 
Mm, do you remember an earlier time on another planet with only one sun and a teaching game we played to sharpen your senses? Now, Brave Star, which way is the river? Mm, how do you know? I can hear the running water. Good. And where are the mountains? There. I can smell the pines. Excellent. And which way is east? Uh, how can you be sure? Oh, it's morning. I can feel the heat of the sun as it rises. Remember, it is possible to find what you cannot see. Using your head can be as powerful as using your eyes. Well, old partner, we've looked everywhere and nothing. <clears throat> and we didn't hear or smell nothing neither. But I don't see, Use your head. Huh? What are you mumbling about? Uh, something the shaman said. When all else fails, use your head. <laughs> Two suns in the trees. They're big and they're bright and they're hot. Hey, you're right. Big and bright and hot. So Stampede would have to hide them underground. But where? Underground? Y'all can kill you, man? No, the miners would know that. Not if they're in a deserted mine. Anybody left town lately? Yeah, what, Marshall? You'll find Killiams, he gives you up and goes away. Right, Jeb had a mine. So either of you know where it is? He once tells me he knew hanging rocks. We gotta find it. Let's move. <laughs> Good looks. Me show, Mrs. Sun. Buzz! Buzz, I just heard from the Galactic Council. The stranger is moribund. He's wanted on three planets. We have orders to send him back. Where's Brave Star? Ooh, him on way to hanging rocks. <laughs> Nice of that dumb settler to clear out. This old mine of his is perfect. Runs halfway under the mountain. Good. The sun should be safe here. Mm, I'm not taking any chances. Stand guard, understand? Jeb's deserted mine's gotta be around here. But where? Maybe my optivisor will help me find it. That's funny. Hey, looky down here. Not now, big partner. What's with you? Look! That cactus is wilting. Underground heat. That means the suns are hidden nearby. Good work, partner. Hmm, what would you do without me? Good, here's his tracks. Brave Star can't be too far ahead. This trail must lead to the mine. Easy now. We're mighty close. Stop right there, Marshal. Let's take him from here. No, wait. We'll give him a chance. Throw down your bow and get out of my way. Okay, Marshal. But we can talk about it, can't we? My creepy hair say not to trust him. Yeah, but let's see what he's got in mind. Oh, boy! I always hate to say I told you so. Strength of the bear! bear. Give me 
a little nudge to start it rolling. Then follow me. <laughs> Hold it right there. All right, stranger. It's all over. One move and you're a goner. Oh, darn your hide. You'll pay for that. <laughs> now you've done it. There's Brave Star. Oh, looks like he could use a little help. <laughs> I don't need an arrow to stop you! I don't know how you did that, but you're going to pay. Give up, stranger. Let Stampede do his own dirty work. I can take the likes of you any day! Don't count on it. Time you're ready to give up, say uncle! Hold on, GB. I'm a coming. Speed of the Puma. 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 Thanks. I'm okay. Really, I am. Crooks, come on. Look. Oh no, you don't. You're not getting away. <laughs> Stampede hit the suns in here. I'd bet my life on it. <laughs> Why don't you just do that, Marshal? Bet your life. Go on in. You want I should kick it down or take it out with Sarah Jane? Wait, I got a feeling it's not gonna be that easy. Suns are in a tunnel, right about here. Not very deep, but my optivisor's heat reading says it's sizzling down there. Our only chance is to let the suns out a little at a time. Stand back, way back. Now if I can just cut a slit in this rock. Easy now, just a little more. I've almost broken through. There, I think I've done it. Morabon and Grox are the Galactic Council's problem now. They'll be tried for their crimes. Sure is hot, Dad, Bernie. Oh, but I ain't complaining, no siree. Them sons is a blessing. That's right, Charlie. Most of us don't miss something of value until we're in danger of losing it. You know, Brave Star, from now on, I'm gonna be mighty careful what I complain about. Yeah, me too. A lot of us spend half our days complaining about what we have to do. The weather, our friends. And we don't stop to think what it'd be like if we didn't have them at all. Like when the suns disappeared. Yep, there's so much to appreciate. Moms and dads, and flowers and rain. And don't forget horses, a man's best friend. <laughs>